Have you guys ever been an outsider looking in? Like a kid on the outside of a candy store with your nose pressed against the glass and you want it so bad, but it's just not yours to have today? That's where I'm going. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning and we are headed off to Disneyland. We are actually going to be at the pool today. So today is essentially a day of snacking, a whole day of snacking. So here's what I am taking with me. First of all, I have my regular beverages. I have coffee for zero smart points with one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. Then I have my teeny skinny tea here. One teaspoon of teeny skinny tea for zero smart points with the juice of half of a lime inside for zero smart points. So coffee and tea, zero points as always. Here's what I'm bringing for lunch. This is a two point turkey wrap. So first of all, it is on one of the Olay Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Low Carb Wraps. The wrap is one smart point. Then I have three ounces of this Trader Joe's Oven Roasted Turkey Breast. It's the Applegate Naturals. Three ounces is one smart point. You can actually use two ounces for zero smart points, which is a pretty decent amount, but I am concerned about being full today and getting enough protein, so I threw on an extra slice for three ounces and one point. So the turkey is also one point. Then I have one slice of the Kraft Fat-Free Singles for zero smart points. And I have some sliced apple and some lettuce and I forgot the mustard. So I'm gonna put some mustard on that as well. So the wrap all together is two smart points. Then I have this little snack container here. This is my little cheese and crackers pack. So first of all, I have 15, oh sorry, I have 14 of the Hormel Turkey Pepperoni, 14 slices for one smart point. Then I have two of these Jarlsberg Light Reduced Fat Swiss Cheese. Two of those are two smart points, and this comes from Trader Joe's also. Then I have two of the Baby Bell Light. They are one smart point each, and two of them is three smart points. And then these are the Thin Crisp Rye Crackers. Four of them are two smart points. So my cheese and crackers are two, three, two, and one. Two, that's five, six, seven, eight. Eight smart points for my cheese okay, and crackers. We are also going to the movies tonight, so these are more snacks that I'm bringing. The popcorn is definitely for the movies, and the rest will be just like throughout the day, when I get hungry. Whatever, so this is the Jolly Time popcorn, the mini bags that are three smart points each. This is the kettle corn flavor, so I'm gonna put this in a different a Ziploc bag and take that with me to the movies. Three points versus like 25 plus. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And then I have grapes, mini bell peppers, a couple of small apples and a banana for zero smart points. The muscle milk I'm bringing, if I drink this, I'll need to pour it over ice or get it with uh, a few shots of espresso, which would also be good. So that's it. Those are my the rest of my snacks for today, which are four smart points. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, and we are off to Disneyland, except we're not going to Disneyland. We're actually going this morning to cheer a friend, two friends of Eddie's, who are running the half marathon. What's the theme of the half marathon this time? <laughs> oh, and sunny. Look at that light on my face. It's hot. It's sunny. They were actually worried about the state of the runners for this series of races this weekend, and understandably so. Um, so Eddie's friend is doing really well, though. She's already at about the 11 mile mark, so we probably won't get to see her finish, but we may get to see his other friend, her other friend, finish. So we are going to go watch and cheer on runners, which is awesome. That is a love-hate thing for me as well as running because every time I'm at a race and I'm not running, it makes me want to run so bad. I'm jealous of all the people that are actually in the race. So this could be a good thing for the runner burnout I'm feeling lately. So maybe this will motivate me and I will want to do that half marathon in the fall. So. We'll see, I almost did a half marathon on Friday anyway, so I might as well. Anyway, so that's what we're doing this morning and then we are going to go to the pool and
Okay, so we are over at the medical tent now. Unfortunately, Eddie's friend, Melissa, she made it across the finish line. Oh, Eddie's friend. She's all dehydrated. She passed out. Fresh reps, like, I think mile 11. She passed out? Passed out, fell. Like, she told me, she's like, go ahead, go ahead. So I, like, booked it because I was pacing the 315. Because normally I do like about three hours. Uh -huh. And she's like, no, 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 just go, just go. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll see you at the finish line. So I sent her a text message. I was at mile 12. And I was like, how are you doing? She's like, I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, so no. I just booked it and I came and I was like, okay, where are you? And I was looking at the tracker and it's like, I looked like she was closer and closer. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, she's done. And then I was like, where the hell is she? And I called and she was like, I'm inside the medical thing. I'm like, excuse me? Did you finish? She's like, no, I passed out Aww. sometime in like mile 11. She said no wonder we didn't see her. Aww. So I'm just hoping she doesn't have to go to the emergency room. How'd you do? I did. Uh, I finished. Good. I finished. <laughs> oh, I finished. Show By the medals. way, I'm Elba. Hi, Elba. I'm Julie. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Let's Boy, see your medals. Like So here is the half. Awesome. Cool. The hardest. <laughs> and here oh, is the challenge. Is so cool. So and the told... challenge is because you did the 5K, I... the 10K. No, because the... I did the 10K and the half together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Good job. What do you guys? You guys? Do you guys? My friend is having a long time. I think she wants to take a picture with you. I'm giving a picture of your name tag. <laughs> Are you gonna take one with me or what? Yeah. Yeah, yes, that's it. I'm like, I'm yep. starstruck. I'm sorry. I know. Oh, what? I'm nobody. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know who you are. It's the real deal. Oh, you want me to take a picture? Oh, yeah, sorry. There you go. You guys, I am so super excited. <laughs> super excited. Yes. I never recognize celebrities, but I was standing over there talking to Eddie's friend and I kind of looked over there I thought, oh man, that guy with his hair all piled on his head, he looks like Kyle from Moana, but he probably not. And then his friend said, you know who that is. Ah! So guess what? Julie's I'm going to get him a job. Julie's going to get him a sitcom on I'm going to get him an ABC or sitcom. Disney somewhere. I want to hook that mister up. There we Guys, go. he's so nice. He's so super cool. He's so down to earth. I am so excited to have met him. So I'm going to hopefully find a way to hook him up and um, help him out a little. I got his phone number. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so super excited. But I have to tell you that this has been a different experience than what I thought it was going to be. I thought I would be just jealous and not want to be here seeing people run a race that I can't but it was awesome it was actually completely opposite because it made me want to run so much more which I also kind of knew it would do that as well so I want to run you guys I'm definitely doing the half marathon in the fall and now I know that I want to do a full marathon next year so um, I don't know if uh, oh I didn't get video of it but we actually stayed to see the very last runner come in which is I don't know you guys I've done like 10 to 12 half marathons I've done like 15 full marathons so I know what a huge deal it is to get across that finish line and if you guys saw some of those people who were coming across the finish line some of them were just dead some of them were crying some of them were so happy it's just such an experience and it's so I mean, it's so amazing physically and mentally for the person who does it. I love it. So now I'm just, I'm super happy that I came. Oh, and I was going to tell you about the very last runner. They, when she went across the finish line, they played huge celebration music and just for her, massive confetti. That was awesome, huh? Yes, yeah, so it was pretty cool. I've never, you know, every single runner counts first to last. It doesn't but matter here's, here's something how funny, fast though. you go. Here's something really funny. As soon as the confetti was blown out, they had cast member custodians already blowing it up and it picking it up. it up. Gotta clean up the park. So it literally, literally like blew out of the machine and it fell on top of her and she walked through and then right behind her they're like cleaning up. <laughs> but I just think it's so awesome that Disney went that extra mile to 
do that to celebrate for that one last person because every person matters and um, especially here with so many people that there's a lot of heat exhaustion apparently people that don't feel good were not hydrated properly so they saw a lot of people over here at the medical area so um, hopefully Eddie's friend is gonna be okay I feel so bad for her because I thought she crossed the finish line she didn't she passed out at mile 11 so we're still waiting to see how she is she actually needs to be on a plane at 6 o'clock in Burbank so I mean she needs to start feeling better anyway but yeah hopefully she feels better soon now Kyle has his hair down and he looks even more like the guy from Moana awesome that was just awesome I don't want to go bug him some more but I'll show you guys the pictures we took Guys, here's my outfit of the day, kind of. For part of it. You day. guys, I just had the best thing ever. I'm drinking a Cocojito. <laughs> it was recommended to me by the server. He said, it's a mojito made in coconut water. I didn't even look up the points and I was like, okay, yes let's try it so I said no sugar so it's basically the coconut water is replacing the club soda and let me tell you it's delicious it's so much better than a regular mojito but eight ounces of coconut water is two smart points so that brings this to three points for the rum two points for the coconut water five points five points for a pretty good drink so I don't know is it worth it it tastes pretty darn good <laughs> it's freezing. Are you shivering? Uh, it's raining. Yay! Uh, it's raining again. But I like it. It feels awesome. What is it? It's like 79, 80 it's degrees. 80. It's 80 degrees and it's raining. Hey guys, so we actually got rained out and that's okay because I haven't seen or felt rain in Southern California for so long. I feel like it's been over a year. So it actually felt really good. And now the rain has stopped. It's nice and cool. It's got to be like less than 80, right? You feeling pretty good, Eddie? Uh, 79 or something. Are you wet? No, I'm dry. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm fairly dry. Um, so we're walking back to the car. We're going to get some other supplies and then walk back to downtown Disney and go to the movie. We're gonna see a movie called... The Bodyguard. It's like Hitman Bodyguard, I think. Oh, I thought it was Kevin Costner. It's not Kevin Costner. It's uh, Samuel L. Jackson. And, oh! And, oh, oh, and... Reynolds, somebody Oh, Reynolds. and that girl, Selma oh, that girl. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we don't even know what we're going to see. But honestly, I love seeing movies in the theater so much that I'm just super excited to go. And this is the first time we've been in the theater at AMC in downtown Disney, so it should be fun. So we're gonna go see an awesome movie, but before we do that, Eddie wants to go into California Adventure. Just because, why? because he can <laughs> so we're totally blocked out for Disneyland today but we can go to California Adventure and Eddie wants to go to California Adventure so that's next on our there list there might possibly be you left your wife. some type of 
fact on my channel tonight. Ooh, watch Eddie's channel, if Eddie not, Almanza. You'll just see California Adventure. <laughs> okay, check out Eddie's channel, which is Eddie Almanza, plain and simple. If you want to see all kinds of interesting, different things you never heard or thought about at Disneyland and California Adventure. See you guys later. Hey, Julie, what is this place right here? Kayla's Cake. And what do they have there? This is where we get macarons after we spend an entire day at Disneyland and we're like, let's eat something sweet. Let's get like five macarons. Kayla's Cake. What flavor is your favorite? Earl Grey. Earl Grey. What's your second? Rose. And do you like the caramel, salted caramel? Salted caramel and lavender. Hey guys, this is one of my favorite places in downtown Disney. This is Tortilla Joe's where you can get awesome tacos. You can get two tacos for about $11. I'm sorry, I don't remember the exact price, but two very low point tacos for super cheap. And they have red wine inside, they have beer on the outside, and free chips and salsa. What more could free you ask for? Free chips and salsa? What more could a girl ask for? Look at these lines. There's no lines, no lines, no lines at all. No lines. This afternoon it was about 80. 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 97, 97, 98 degrees. And then around 4, 30, it started to rain. Can you believe it? Raining here in Southern California. Look at those clouds. So we're here at California Adventure. Oh, look, there's Chili. Well, Julie, we spent at least five minutes in California Adventure. Yay! We can say we were here. We were say we were here. Let's get out of here now and go catch a movie. Yay!